Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at how to identify profit on a monopoly graph. With that said, let's get into it. So we'll start by looking at a general monopoly graph. Here you can see we have our marginal cost curve, our marginal revenue curve, our demand curve, and our average total cost curve. The tough part is interpreting what the intersections of each of these mean. So similar to in perfect competition, a monopolist can actually maximize their profit by selecting a quantity where marginal revenue and marginal cost intersect. So as you can see on this particular graph, that's at a point of a quantity of three and a price of 12. But the unique thing about monopoly is they don't actually need to use the socially efficient price of 12. Because they don't have any competition, they can actually inflate their price all the way up to see what market demand is. So they would take quantity of three, where MC equals MR, and they would follow it all the way up until that intersects with the demand curve. Now you'll notice the price is $36. So they make a significant amount more per unit. So when looking at this graph, you can obviously see a big blue rectangle. And that big blue rectangle is not profit. Instead, it's actually total revenue. And remember, total revenue is equal to the price charged times the quantity sold. So total revenue in this case is equal to $36 times three units. Total revenue is equal to $108. But total revenue and profit aren't the same thing. There's another important factor to consider and that's cost. So let's take a look at what the average total cost is when the quantity is equal to three. So we can follow that to the axis and we get $20. That $20 is the average total cost when three units are being sold. Why are three units being sold? Because that's the intersection of MR and MC. So now we've got this new pink rectangle and this rectangle represents the total cost. Now as a reminder, total cost is equal to the average total cost times quantity Total cost is equal to 20 times three. And of course, some simple algebra says that total cost is equal to $60. And that's simply the area of the pink rectangle. But that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in profit. So let's take a look at the remaining section of the total revenue, this green rectangle right here. This is our profit rectangle, and it can be denoted using this formula. Profit, which in economics is often denoted as pi instead of p because p denotes price, Profit is equal to price minus the average total cost times quantity. So profit is equal to $36, the selling price, minus $20, the average total cost, times the quantity of three. Solving this further, we get profit is equal to 16 times three. And finally, profit is equal to $48. And you might be looking at the total revenue and the total cost and saying, can't I just take the difference? And to be honest, the answer is yes. You can most certainly take the difference because profit is simply equal to total revenue minus total cost which once you've solved for both of them is 108 minus 60, which as you can see on the screen is still $48. So you can either calculate the area of that green rectangle, or you can simply subtract total cost from total revenue. Both ways will give you the exact same answer for profit. And there you have it. Now you know how to calculate profit looking at a monopoly graph. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel. And of course, let us know in the comment section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.